So in this video, I'll show you how to set up your Canon MFD to scan to either Gmail or your G Suite business account. So here we go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to log into your Google administrator account. And to do that, you just go to myaccount.google.com. And from here, you hit your security tab on the left hand side, which will take you to this page here. And you need to scroll down to your two-step verification. Now, if you don't have that set up, I believe you need to. So there are other videos out there on YouTube which will show you how to set up the two-factor authentication. So go and watch those and come back here. But I believe this does need to be set up. So all you simply do is you just click on your arrow once your two-step verification is set up. It will then take you to this page here. So you'll need to scroll down to your app passwords. And once again, click on your arrow. So we need to give the copier a name and then hit create. From here, you'll need to copy this password and save that. And then you'll get an alert from Google asking you to authenticate this password. So if we just click on here and then we click here. And then yes, it was me and save. So there we go. So that's critical. If you don't do that, it won't work. And the next thing we need to do is log into the MFD. And the easiest way to do that is to type in the IP address in a web browser and then enter your username and your password. It will then take you to this screen here. Now there's a couple of things that we need to set up. So the first thing you need to do is you'll need to go to your settings registration. Once you're on this page, you click your send button here on the left hand side. Then make your way up to network settings. From this screen here, you'll just need to make sure that all these boxes are ticked. Your SMTP, confirm TLS, allow TLS, use SMTP authentication, confirm TLS, and make sure it's always TLS. Your SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. Your email address is from your Google administrator account. Your SMTP is 465. You'll need to copy the email that you have up here. And you also, you'll need to make sure that you tick this box here. And then you copy and paste the password that you generated in here. So once you click OK, it will take you back to this screen. Now just click back on your network settings again. And then click on your check SMTP connection. So there you go. So the connection's good. So what you can also do, you can also click on your common settings here and you can name the copy up. So that's just where the email comes from. So you can call it whatever you like. And the last thing to do is to go to your address book here, scroll down. There's loads of different address books. I just use the one touch. It's nice and easy. And then this is where you generate your email. So if you just click on so now we're on this page here make sure it says email you put the person's name in whatever name you want on the user interface on the copier and then the email address for the person so we'll just go and cancel that okay so from here you'll need to go to the photocopier or you can log in via the remote user interface and then you'll need to log in as an administrator then you need to hit your settings registration device settings function settings send email specify port and you'll need to make sure that says 465 and then you click that you close that and then you'll log out as administrator click your scan hit your one touch here's my email that i put in earlier click ok And that's it simple so that'll go to my email now as an attachment as a pdf so thanks for watching if you'd like to know more about what docufy can offer your business hit the like and subscribe button for more information like this